what did you have to unlearn when you went, made the shift from being a very, very successful banker to being an even more successful entrepreneur? In my career as an investment banker, I actually, uh, I did a lot of IPOs and as part of that, I met a lot of entrepreneurs and tried to communicate or sell their stories to investors. And most of the times, initially, investors didn't believe it. Like when Ronnie Scruvala said he wanted to set up a Disney-style studio, no one believed him. When I remember Ajay Bijli would say he wants a chain of multiplexes and everybody would say, oh, but in India, look at the number of screens you have. Somewhere I was itching to, to do that early value creation and I believe that multi-brand retail for beauty would be big industry and honestly when I started um, Nika in 2012, e-commerce was a bad word, there was not enough funding available for the big players like Flipkart and Snapdeal and uh, beauty within that was completely ignored, nobody ever believed you can make a business out of beauty retailing. And I particularly, I don't agree with Noshir, and I think that the skill set that I had as a consultant, or not really as a consultant, but more as an investment banker and a stockbroker really helped me because uh, I started with uh, spreadsheets and numbers that I wanted to achieve, and till date, the firm pretty much follows that path. The numbers we project become our uh, business plans, and we make sure we are there to that. But one big thing that I didn't know as a banker and a consultant and really underplayed was technology and the power of technology. And in this bold step, step that I made towards entrepreneurship, what it allowed me was to learn the power of technology. I think the journey on all the digital world has just begun, like even Vijay says, and there's so much that's gonna come because it's all so easy with the power of the technology and digital and very excited to be part of that journey. Thank you.